It operated as a cell phone store, but deputies say it was actually an illegal marijuana shop. When three armed robbers showed up, didn't take long before bullets were flying. KKL 9's Tina Ezzedine is live in Bell Gardens with more on this deadly shooting. Tina. Pat, homicide investigators say that this is actually the third time in recent months that a pot shop store robbery has then turned into a shooting and then a murder. They say that the frequency is increasing, and this time it happened at an illegal marijuana store and just before closing. It looks like a cell phone store, but it's not. An illegal pot shop, say investigators, and the scene of two crimes, robbery and murder. It was clear some type of gunfight had occurred there. There was some, uh, extensive damage, windows shot out, bullet holes, some cars were struck uh, that were parked along the roadway. Two armed robbers lay on the floor, a 17-year-old shot dead, a 21-year-old hurt after holding the store clerk hostage. Well, they detained the clerk at gunpoint while they began to grab jars of marijuana and whatnot and start throwing it into bags. Homicide detectives say at the same time, two other suspects are captured on surveillance camera, putting on ski masks about to enter the store. But bullets start flying and everyone starts running. Right across the street from it all, Bell Gardens Intermediate School. It's kind of scary because it's, across, like the, kids. Yeah, it's, across, it's across from the school, you know. It's bad for little kids because like, it's a middle school and they're not supposed to be around that type of stuff. L.A. County Sheriff detectives say they're seeing an increase of these types of crimes, pot shop robberies that turn into murder. It's not uncommon these days to have these marijuana shops uh, robbed. They have a lot of marijuana and a lot of cash on hand, so we've been dealing uh, with uh, the crimes that have occurred as a result of these uh, establishments. LAPD also echoing troubles with illegal marijuana stores. The department task force last year arresting nearly 700 people, seizing more than $2 million and more than 250,000 pounds of pot. Given the fact that there was an intermediate school across the street and the street where this all took place is Florence Avenue, a very busy street, homicide investigators say it is surprising that nobody else was hurt. They also add that the suspects and the murder weapon are nowhere to be found. Live in Bell Gardens tonight, I'm Tina Esme, KCAL 9 News. Thank you, Tina.